Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about some exciting improvements to Connected Components Workbench version 13 compared to 12. Now, I usually don't get on the bandwagon of having the latest and greatest, but there are some improvements they have made that I thought were video worthy. Right here, I have Connected Components Workbench, and I'll just open up the About Connected Components Workbench. And you see that this is version 12.00.00, Developer Edition. And then over here, I have Connected Components Workbench version 13.00. So we can kind of compare them side by side. And the big thing I want to go through is how much faster online editing is. Because a lot of you have asked me to do a video on online edits in Connected Components Workbench. And I'm still not quite ready to do that because there are a few important differences in the way online edits work in Connected Components Workbench compared to Studio 5000 and RS Logix 500. But there also were some performance issues with online edits in version 12 that really I just couldn't get over to make a video on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to version 12 and I have just opened up one of our getting started programs that ships with our trainers and I'm gonna download it and we'll time, well, let's go ahead and we'll time how long it takes to download. Okay, now we're back in run mode. Oops, no, we're not, we're almost there. It's thinking about it. Okay, now we're back in run mode and we're online, so I'm gonna make an online edit, or in this case, you use the run mode change button. And I am just gonna delete this PF start. And now I am going to test my changes. And now I will accept my changes. So that was a download and online edit change in Connected Components Workbench version 12. Now let's do the exact same thing in version 13. So I have the exact same program open and now I am going to download this program. And we'll have to look at the times, but that, that seemed like a whole lot faster even downloading. Now I'm gonna do a run mode change and I'm just gonna bring down and examine closed. And we'll look at that PF start and we're gonna put that in there. And then we'll accept that change and we're done. I extracted the times out of those and there's a significant difference in version 12 it took 47.8 seconds to download that program. And in version 13, the exact same program took 36 seconds. So, I mean, that's near 18 seconds, all right? My math right, get my math right so somebody doesn't complain. That is 12. That's nearly 12 seconds faster, 25%. So, I mean, that, that's significant. And same with the online edits. The online edits, the version 12 was 46 seconds and the version 13 was 39 seconds, seven seconds faster. So they, they have done some significant improvements to both the download and the online edits in this. And I think the software just continues to head in the right direction. And that still isn't, I think, as fast as Studio 5000. I mean, not even sure, but that is significantly faster. You know, the one video that I have not made because I really just, didn't feel it was fully worth it was the differences between Connected Components Workbench Developer and Standard Edition. And the big advantage of Developer is the online editing. But it was so slow before version 13 that I really felt it was easier a lot of times to download the program again than it was to actually edit it. But now it seems significantly faster. Now there is one other change to the software that is very important that you be aware of. And I'm not gonna call this a pro or a con yet, because I really wanna see where Rockwell goes with this. But you know, I am really big on the Logix view that they added to Connected Components Workbench in version 12. Like, I did no real videos on Connected Components Workbench before then. 
but they have made a change to this that I like and I also have concerns about is if we go back to our version 12 program and I'll just go ahead and maximize it so it's exactly apples to apples then you'll see on the left pane over here here is how version 12 was organized and mainly for most of you down to right here this is how most of your programs have organized now what i like about the connected components is you can also have your hmi and anything else in your program now this is not in the io configuration these are other devices so this is our trainer program actually yeah this is this is actually this trainer's program so in it i have the micro 820s program i have the powerflex drive program and i have the hmi program that way we can get it set up i open this up and i can right click this one i can download i can right click this one and i can download and i can download the powerflex drive and it's ready to ship out the door now this left pane is the exact same in version 12 whether we're in the logix theme which i like or the default theme, which you know I dislike. Now let's do it in version 13 so you can see the difference. First, let me switch that back to Logix so I don't go crazy next time I need to do something. And we'll go over to our version 13 program and it'll be offline so it's exactly the same. And now this is the default theme and this is what the left pane looks like. Now let's switch to the Logix theme. All this is much easier to read as far as our ladder logic. And our left pane looks significantly different. Now what I love about this is this looks very much like Studio 5000. Now do we have our controller? And I haven't even looked at it that much, but yeah, I can right click it. I can go to properties, the same as control logics. I have my controller variables. And then we have task. Inside task, we have programs. Now. They don't have task per se like the compact and control logics. If we right click task, we can add a new task, but we don't have all the options that we would have in Studio 5000. But we probably need to play with you know, the STI some. That would be a neat one to play with and the universal plugin module. But the one thing that is ginormously missing now on this left pane is my HMI and my drive have disappeared. Now, if I switch back to the, the default theme, then there is my HMI and there is my drive. But when I'm over here in the Logix theme, while I love this view, they're missing. But that's just something to be aware of. Overall, I definitely like the improvements that they have made to version 13. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, but we're probably gonna go ahead and upgrade to 13 soon on our trainers and I think it is a step in the right direction. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.